In this video, we're going to show you how to fix WordPress login redirect loop problem. Okay, let's get started. This is one of those things all WordPress developers stumble upon at some point in time. In this rather short step-by-step -step WordPress beginner's guide, we will talk about what causes and how to fix WordPress login redirect loop issue. Here's the problem. I am trying to log into my WordPress dashboard, but something is wrong. You enter your login and password, but the page keeps refreshing and redirecting you to the same location. So what's the big idea? To fix this issue, we're going to show you five solutions. So the first solution is to clear your browser cache. WordPress sites use cookies to collect data during WP Admin customer login events. These cookies can sometimes interfere with login processes and create redirects loop error or similar internal server errors. All you have to do in this case is to clear browsing data. So let's go to your Chrome and let's clear your browsing data. On your Chrome, on the upper right side of your screen, you will see a three dot icon. Click on that. Now click more tools and click clear browsing data. Now here you'll be able to delete your browsing history, your cookies and other site data, cache images and files. But for this solution, we only need to delete the cookies and other site data. So uncheck browsing history and cache image and files. Select the time range and hit clear data. That's done. So let's proceed with the second solution. Now the second solution is to manually deactivate plugins. Sometimes a plugin or multiple plugins for WordPress can have a corrupted code. Since you can't access your dashboard and can't disable them that way, you will have to do it by hand using an FTP client or FileZilla. So for this solution, we are going to access your website using FileZilla since you can't log in to your website. If you don't have an FTP account, I put a link on how to do that on the description below. And also in this solution, we'll be needing an FTP client, which is FileZilla. I also link that on the description below. All right, let's continue. So the first thing that you're going to do is to open your FileZilla. Now we're going to put a host, the username, and the password. And then we're gonna click Quick Connect. All right, once you've entered your host, username, and password, click Quick Connect. All right, so we've successfully logged into your website files. Now, on the lower right side of your FileZilla, look for the folder public HTML. Now inside public HTML, look for the folder WP content. Double click to enter the folder. Now inside this folder, we're gonna look for a folder called plugins, and we're going to rename that to something like plugins backup. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we're not done yet. Because we renamed the original plugins folder, we now need to create a new plugins folder that is empty. So let's go ahead and do that. So on the lower right hand of your FileZilla, right click and click create directory and rename this new directory inside WP content to plugins. Hit OK. Now we're done. Now go back to your website and hit refresh and check if the issue is fixed. If this solves the issue, then you need to debug which plugin is causing the issue. All right, so we're actually done. So don't close FileZilla yet because we, we're gonna need it on the next solution. Let's move to the next solution. So the third solution is to revert back to the default WordPress theme. Just like with plugins, Something can go wrong with the team itself. There could be a virus or something can interfere with the code. Maybe the developers did not update the team, so it is no longer compatible with the new version of WordPress. As a result, you are unable to log in to WP Admin. 
So what now? As was the case with the second solution, the fix revolves around renaming WordPress files here too. The only difference is that you need to rename Teams instead of the plugins folder. So on your FileZilla, look for public HTML again on the lower right side of your FileZilla. Then look for WP Content Folder. And then inside WP Content Folder, look for Teams and rename that to something like Teams Backup, just like what we did with the Plugins folder. So renaming the Team folder is not going to be enough because if we rename the Team folder, your WordPress site will not have any team and therefore will get an error. So what we're going to do next is to go to wordpress.org and download the WordPress installer. Inside that installer, we will get the default team folder and upload it where we renamed your original team folder. All right, let's do it. First, let's go to the official WordPress site, which is, by the way, I've linked on the description below. WordPress.org. Click Get WordPress and download WordPress right here. So once you've downloaded that, let's go back to FileZilla. Now on the lower left side of the FileZilla, which is right here, let's look for the WordPress file that we just downloaded. Right here. By the way, you should have this unzip. So we're going to do that. All right. So once you've unzipped that, double click on it. Double click again. And double click on WP Content Folder. And drag this Teams folder to the other side. This left side, by the way, is your computer. And the right side is your WordPress files. Now you just need to wait for the transfer to finish. You now have a fresh copy of the Teams on your site. Go back to your browser and refresh it. The WordPress WP Admin redirecting should now stop. If not, let's go to the next solution. Now the fourth solution is to rename or delete HT Access file. The HT Access file contains a set of rules on how the internal server should respond to various requests. There are times when this relation gets altered and in result creates a redirect loop on WP Admin. This fix is rather simple. Let's go back to FileZilla. Now let's go back to the main directory by clicking this two dots. Click it again. Now we're going to look for public HTML again. Double click that. So let's look for dot HT access. And it's right here. Now delete this or just rename it to have a backup. So let's just rename that. Right click, rename, and put backup. All right. Now what we are going to do next is upload a fresh .ht access file. Again, just like what we did with the Teams folder earlier, we are going to get the new .ht access file from the WordPress installer file we just downloaded. On the lower left side of your FileZilla, let's look for the WordPress installer we just downloaded. And then inside of that folder, let's go to public HTML, WP content, and plugins. Inside plugins, drag the .ht access file. To the other side all right so we're done now let's go back to our website and let's try to log in now let's try to log in now if you are able to log in let's go to settings and go to permalinks scroll down to the bottom and hit save changes you should no longer have any wp admin redirect or similar server errors all right so we're done with the fourth solution if the issue is still not fixed Let's proceed with the fifth and the last solution. Now, the fifth solution is to edit wpconfig.php file. wpconfig.php file is one of the more important files of the WordPress package. It contains information WordPress needs to connect to the database. It is not something you should mess around with for the fun of it. In a case you accidentally change something, for example, database name, and you are using WordPress hosting service, you can ask your provider for the information and change it back. Now, if all the steps above did not work, you can try to update site URL method. To do that, 
Let's go to FileZilla and open the wp-config.php file. On your website's home directory, on the lower right side of FileZilla, look for public HTML again. Double click on that. Now scroll down and look for wp-config.php. Now to do this, we're going to the cPanel and open the wp-config.php file. So let's go to your website cPanel. Let's log in. If your web host doesn't have a cPanel, you can contact your web host or read your web host manual in order to learn how to do this. Now let's continue. Now on your cPanel, scroll down and look for the files section. And under files, look for the file manager. Now we are on the home directory. Inside the home directory, scroll down and look for public HTML. Double click on that. Now inside this folder, look for wp-config.php. And here it is. Right click on it and click edit. And click edit again. And we're going to look for this line within this code. Here it is. So before this line, we're going to add the following code. And this code is on the description below. So kindly check that. Now once you put the code there, you need to change the yoursite.com to the actual URL of your website. So in this example, my website is fixrunnertest.com. So once you've changed that, on the upper right side of your screen, click Save Changes and then hit Close. There you go. You've defined your site URL and WordPress admin login redirected issue is now fixed. Now we've reached the end of our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, kindly share it and hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss our next videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that if we upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. Thank you for watching and you have an awesome day.